March 13, 2022. Remember this day, the day when the Mandawi City government and Mayor Jonas Cortez announced that the F. E. Zwelik Avenue at the Mandawi Reclamation Area will be officially closed to all motorized traffic every Sunday, Domingo, from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. This is to allow cyclists, joggers, and all those folks who wanted to use the area for exercise and leisure without fear of getting hit by cars or motorbikes. Mayor Cortez, who was present during the opening, laid out the reasons why he closed this area to motor traffic and at the same time told us of a bike race this coming May which includes road and mountain bike during the celebration of the Mandawi Fiesta. The peloton of the 50 plus category was about 25 to 30 riders strong. The previous week, we were just about 10. The main animators of the race were Nilo Barbalose and Paning Tumulak. When these two strong riders are present, everybody can expect to be in the red zones most of the time. These two are constantly attacking that it is almost impossible to take a few seconds of rest between attacks. This is just one of the few moments that we were able to bring our heart rate down and relax a little bit as there was a cessation of hostilities. They say that racing with Nilo or Panning is just like donating money for the prize fund. But, when I'm good, come to think of it, asa makamakakita o excitement, lingaw for 50 pesos. Asi quinta nga lingaw nagakayo. Nowhere but sa reklara. So I don't mind losing 50 because the excitement I get is priceless. Finally, Nilo was able to break away as no one was able to follow his attack. At the same time, the peloton also slowed down, which was very good for me. I think see Dixon, the rider in red, is getting restless as he keeps looking back, looking around. With about one and a half laps to go, or about the three kilometers mark, Clifford Versosa attacked and nobody followed. I think that everybody was preparing for the sprint. That's why they let him go. I wanted to have a good position after the last new turn. So I moved up as we approached turn. Since I don't have confidence in my sprint yet, I decided to surprise everyone and do an all or nothing move by attacking from far out with about one kilometer from the finish. Paul Gambon, a good sprinter, took shelter behind me as he saw me move to the right. As I was picking up speed, I had bad luck. My chain dropped from the 52 to the 34. Luckily, I was able to put it back 52, but it was too late. My momentum was slowed. I had to pick up my speed again, but now I know that the sprinters were now all behind me, ready to pounce. 
Still, I decided to finish what I started. Who knows where I will end? As we approach the finish line, there is this gentle curve to the left, which is the shortest line to the finish. I wanted to take that curve to better my chance in the podium, but again, no luck. The other boys were just too fast and too good today. Lagi. <laughs> The circle. All cyclists never dies. 